This is going to be about finding the surface area of a pyramid. A uh, pyramid is a polyhedron whose base is a polygon and lateral faces are triangles with common vertex. A regular pyramid is a pyramid whose base is a regular polygon. Uh, same side legs, same angles, corresponding. Oh, no, equal to each other, regular. The slant height of a regular pyramid only is the height of a face. Some of the ways that, here's the Great Pyramid of Giza, which I think is a square pyramid. Here's a diagram of a pyramid, and some more about terminology here. On a pyramid, we'll call the base the one that's not a triangle. If they're all triangles, then you get to pick any one you want to be the base. Doesn't matter. The lateral faces are all triangles. The base is whatever polygon you happen to have. The sides or edges of the uh, base are called the base edges. The edges that, co that connect the triangles are the lateral edges. The vertex is the top. For a, bright, a regular pyramid only, what? only, that's one with a regular polygon for its base, all of the triangles are congruent. Therefore, you can talk about slant height of the pyramid as the slant height. Uh, that would be like if you were going to hike up the Great Pyramid, you would hike straight up, presumably. Um, it's the height of the triangle that is the lateral face. Finding the surface area of pyramids, the way you're going to use most of the time when you need it is to take the pyramid and make a net. Unfold it. This one happens to be regular, so the formula I'm about to give you would work. This is a pentagonal pyramid. There are five triangles. You'd figure the area of each of the five triangles. The area of the pentagon, probably using the apothem, and add them together. That works for all surface area. The polygons that are the faces, find the area and add them up. If, however, you do have a regular pyramid, you can use this formula. And here it is. This is the surface area of a regular pyramid, and it's also right, a right regular pyramid. That means the base is a regular polygon, and it's right, which means that the, um, the altitude goes from the uh, vertex to the center of the base, or the axis line from the out, uh, from the vertex through the center of the base is perpendicular to the base. Notice on here again the capital letters tend to stand for things that are generally calculated and the lowercase letters tend to stand for things that are generally um, measured. In this case the surface area equals the area of the base plus half of the perimeter of the base times the slant height or the lateral height. Some examples of that. Here are a few of them, maybe work a few of them. You'll find the area of the base. These are all regular, I think. No, they're not. Okay, you'll use, you'll have to do them individually. So this is regular, this is regular. It's a square. These are, these are regular pyramids. These are Oh, they are all regular. I'm sorry. They say they're regular. That one doesn't look regular. It's just drawn in perspective. I apologize. Okay, find the area of the base. 8 times 8 is the square. The height. That'll be half a base times height. Use the, prim use the formula. Notice here it's going to be a little more tricky because you're going to have to use the apothem. No big deal, but you just have to remember that you can find the... Um, area of any regular polygon, in this case a regular um, pentagon. Okay, next is a cone. A cone is a solid with a circular base and a vertex that's not in the same plane as the ba base. So that means you'll have a circle and circle and a dot and you'll form a, a point outside so you'll have the circle and you'll bring lines up in a curved plane to
to make a vertex to make your cone. Surface area of a cone. Surface area of a cone, we have a formula for it. Let me show you conceptually what it's going to look like. You start with a circle, cut out a sector of the circle. This is going to the center of the circle, and I'm just kind of guessing on this one here. We'll see how close I come. To form a Miss Pac-Man, a sector. Then if you think about when you have an ice cream cone or a snow cone, fold it up to make a cone shape. This is the lateral surface area of the cone. You folded it up to make a cone. To find the total surface area, you'd put a lid on it. So what you would need then, the lateral surface area is the cone part. The lid makes it total surface area. So the combination would be Ms. Pac-Man eats the dot, lateral surface area plus the base, which would be the lid if you were putting it on a snow cone. The formula for what that's going to look like here with the cone. Here is the surface area of a right cone. You'll have the height, lateral surface area, and the slant height. That is of the constructed cone. Slant height is what Ms. where Ms. P Ms. Pac Man bites. That's the slant height. And then this represents the lid or the circle that is the base of the cone. So this is the lateral surface area in blue. The base in pink together makes the total surface area. Remember when I folded this up? Here's the Miss Pac-Man. You fold it up. That's the height. The slant height of this cone is right down here at the seam. And that's right there where I put it together. So the slant height of the cone goes on up. Then the formula for that is right here. Again, this only works with a right cone, but many cones are right, so it will work for that. And some uses of it, some practical applications. Here are some cones. A reminder that the equation deals with radius, so this is diameter, so you'll need to take half of it. Here we have the height of the cone. Here we have the slant height of the cone. If you have the height of the cone and you need the slant height, notice that it's a triangle, and you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find out what the slant height is, which is the third leg, the hypotenuse of the triangle. So you should be able to get everything you need from this. Here is a doggy collar for a poor doggy that got some sick or something and needs not to be messing with it. It is a section of a cone. Notice there's a cone with another cone subtracted off. Surface area. This would be lateral only because you're not going to close the puppy in. Lateral surface area of the cone. And then make an extension so that you would subtract the lateral surface area of the smaller cone. See if you can figure out how to do that. And here endeth the lesson.